Good morning, welcome back to Why in the Morning. If it's Tuesday, you know how you do it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Our Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. In this particular interview, we dive into we are looking at designing professional development for youth. So I'm going to quote none other than Reina Maria Reke, and he said that the only journey is the journey with it. That explains a lot, considering the kind of conversation we're going to have. So in studio, I am joined by Grace Jayo, the founder of Able Pasture. Thank you very much for creating time to be with us. Thank you for having me, Michelle. All right, so earlier on, before we even got, you know, in the presence of our viewers, I asked you if you believe that life is not just about finding ourselves. Mm -hmm. How true is that? The truth is, life is about finding ourselves mm -hmm. and making the best of it. Do we really ever find ourselves? We can and we do. That's, that's precisely why God created us in the first place. And that's why you're here actually. <laughs> so tell us more about uh, Able Pursuit and what it deals with. Okay, so Able Pursuit is a new outfit modernized to, uh, with a virtual personalized portal to help you and uh, any other adolescents and any, any other young adult to be, to be able to know their talents so mm -hmm. they discover themselves by knowing their innate potentials, their talents, their values, their drives mm -hmm. and then uh, helping them also storytell about it and also uh, going further in terms of professional development and with life in, in itself we help you as the person also uh, nurture those talents into skills and competencies that you can easily develop because your innate potential cannot really develop all competencies. So we yeah. help you identify the specific competencies that you can easily develop. Mm -hmm. And then uh, once you're able to develop competencies, also we help you become resilient because it's necessary, especially with COVID-19. The pandemic has had hit so many people in so many ways. And uh, it has caused a lot of depression, um, a lot of uh, life hardships amongst ourselves, even for those people in the marginalized communities, generally not out of COVID-19, but the kind of life that they live, refugees, people in wars and all that, they need their resilience. Also, um, besides that, we help you now match those competencies and the resilience into jobs. Okay. So we're looking at the future world of work which involves a lot of automation and uh, machinery, machine learning, computerized, modernized ways of doing work. And so a lot of skills will, that will be needed are actually soft skills because now the machines will be taking up the role of, uh, you know, doing the technical work day to day, like, you know, in a simple factory, packaging and all that will be done by robots. So, and, dr and cars will be driven by, will be self-driven by the software, the program, the, the programming that has been put into, into, uh, into the cars. So that means that as an individual, you need more soft skills to be able to survive the future world of work. And okay. that is why we are here as Able Pursuit, to help you prepare the best for the future and the world of work. All right, it's quite broad actually, I have to mention, because yes. I can hear there is the aspect of uh, uh, the career aspect of it, self-development yes. yes. also involved. So what, what, what type of programs do you run as, uh, as a company? So the whole thing, the portal is self-based, it's self-based for the individual and for us we do not, uh, we do not limit the kind of person that joins the platform. We are yeah. an all-inclusive. Uh, portal and a platform and uh, as an open community we, ad we advocate that we start with you at the age of 12. As early as 12 is when you, you're trying to discover yourself. So what's the age, age group? The age group is generally between the ages of 12 to 29. Okay. Let me define that a little quick. Between the ages of, of 12 and 24 is the adolescent stage. I know so many would n deny this and say, no, it ends at 18. Exactly. I was you about to ask that question. <laughs> you also want to deny it. Yeah. So this is what happens, yeah? Between the ages of 12 to 18, yes, you're discovering yourself, but you're discovering yourself under the care of your parents or your guardians or uh, whomever is taking care of you, whether in school, you're dependent on someone. Okay. Then between the ages of 18 to 24, 
you are still an adolescent, you're trying, you're still trying to discover yourself and right now you're in, you're in that stage we call independent stage but not yet fully uh, established as an individual you know to make the right decisions and choices you need some bit of experience and this is why the ages 18 to 24 are quite important and uh, that is when now maybe you, you find that when you joined university or college you take two years in college and then you're dropping out because you're saying oh no I chose the wrong course or in the journey of self-discovery at you're this in the particular time because you're making exactly. your own decision right now yes you're, not you're trying to make your decisions right and that experience is very important and this that is why you know uh, you hear psychologists and other people advising that do not get married at that age do not make very important decisions at that age because you're testing you're testing life with that independence that you received from the age of 18. In other countries, it's actually 16. Yes. All right. So uh, let's run, because whatever you guys are actually doing, it's yes. quite very broad. Mm -hmm. When you talk about a portal, is it self like a uh, uh, self? self-help in terms of I actually take myself through these particular programs are there people who are going to help me take actually partake on these particular programs yeah okay so yes yeah, so what we have what we're offering is one area uh, in the portal how it works you join uh, you complete an assessment which is a personal evaluation about yourself mm -hmm. which brings out the outcome of your talents your drives your learning style how you're able to you know to study because mm -hmm. everyone has their own learning styles your communication style how you're able to communicate and how how can people also communicate with you how interact with others and also your work your ideal work environment mm -hmm. based now on your interests your talents and your values and your drives and then also it brings out uh, a summary of, you know, the competencies that you can easily match to. So that's one aspect. And then the sec second aspect of the portal is where you, now you can be able to choose from jobs. So this is, uh, this is a new, actually a new feature that we have, uh, we are developing in collaboration with uh, different organizations that offer entry level jobs for youth. And uh, this includes internships, attachments, uh, you know, freelance jobs. We're all looking at now the world of work where it is. So all this is self-paced and uh, you can easily also book a calendar to get guidance from someone. Okay. It's either me or the trained experts that we have in our, in our networks that we work with also we incorporate a lot of uh, coaching and mentorship so we work with a, a network of the same we identify mentors in different areas because uh, someone would want to join and you know start a business so we would link you to someone who is very good in that and we would also link you if you want a career particularly in medicine we'll be able to find someone in that field who's much more experienced who would guide you through Yes. All right. As a company, what market gap did you see in order to just venture in this particular space? So this this is actually very interesting, Michelle. What we did before we even established Able Pursuit, we deep dived into the market itself. In, we did a lot of intelligence with the Global Business Coalition for Education. I'm a council member there. Uh, it's based in New York, and uh, we did the first survey in 2018. We conducted a survey on uh, youth skills and innovation. How prepared are we for, you know, 2025, for example? That was actually our target. And we found out that actually 79% of youth interests do not align with opportunities that there are in the community right now. That was an interesting outlook. Also, secondly, we, we've discovered that about 400, nearly 400 million youth in sub-Saharan sub Africa alone wouldn't be prepared for, wouldn't have the skills, the resilience, the competencies necessary for the world of work. Mm -hmm. So we were doing this uh, in collaboration with Deloitte. They were the lead partner in terms of the survey that was conducted on the ground amongst about 1,500 1, youth. And then uh, the outcome of that led to the second survey, which we conducted actually last year with the pandemic 2020. And this outcome showed that a lot of youth need the resilience to survive. 
And so this has guided us and uh, a lot of practical. We did a pilot test also on the ground with, uh, within Kilifi, Makueni, and Garissa County. We are doing uh, pilots also virtually. Uh, uh, right now we're calculating about 155. We had a free trial period mm -hmm. whereby we were able to, s to establish that yes, particularly this uh, solution would be very good and it's actually needed. So yes, we have opened up our portal free of charge for quite a number of uh, collaborators who have received uh, access to their people and uh, uh, their young people through their programs, training programs, schooling, the ca that kind of thing that you know is targeted to the youth. And it has helped us, it, uh, it has also give, given us a lot of intel on how mm -hmm. we need to present this All right. to different people, yeah. Right. When you take it back to now the person as an individual now, because clearly talent is of high importance here, sure. knowing, knowing actually what you want also. Yeah. So how effective is it just uh, working through it as an individual? So, and is there any uh, subscription fee that is supposed to be paid? Okay, so yes, so the subscription fee is just $5, 500 shillings per, per year. And uh, with 500, then you'll be able to access all the services mentioned apart from storytelling. That's a new feature, and uh, once it's ready, then we can quote for that. For now, uh, in terms of uh, the level of interest from the individual, mm -hmm. I would quote a couple of, or send guys to our website and check a couple of quotes uh, received from some of the people, uh, just on the homepage some of the people who've uh, shown the interest and the will. But also allow me to also mention about specifically where youth in business, where we have been uh, sitting as advisory team. Okay. And with youth in business, uh, they consider this a very important uh, opportunity for the members because uh, number one, the youth themselves do not know how much enterprising they are. And that's one of the competencies we actually assess. So the level of enterprising and uh, other skills combined, competencies combined, how they'll be able to, you know, quickly match that into the kind of uh, enterprise that they want to set up. Again, also in terms of insourcing, mm -hmm. insourcing uh, human resource for their own enterprises. It makes work easier for them. Okay, yes. it's clearly like we can, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, it's it's a, sort of like an onla online uh, course uh, that one can partake in. Yes, it's. It, l let's not put it as a course, but let's say as a self-paced journey. Okay, yes. all right, let's put it that, that way. Yes. So how do you monitor from this particular space? If someone out there wants to you know, start up, start up an online mm -hmm. uh, program, mm -hmm. so how do you monitor from this particular space? So for us, uh, do you mean online with, with us, start an online with us or separate from? As a company. As a company, individual yes. or with us? As a company, because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. this is a business that you're running, yes. even though you're helping in the community. So looking back as a business, how do you monetize apart from the subscription fee? Well, apart from the subscription fee, we have other income generating activities where we source for, you know, sponsorship in terms of undertaking projects like mentorship uh, and all that. But also, uh, Able Pursuit is an investment company. Mm -hmm. It's uh, set up as an investment enterprise, whereby we also setting up to invest in the talents of these individuals okay. and uh, have a stake within the their own different enterprises and then they will be able to pay back. So for you as a person, if you want to monetize in online, just look at areas where people are, people, 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 it's about the people okay. and their needs, their primary basic needs, what lies close to their heart is all about. Then you're deemed to survive in a business setup because then you're meeting the needs of the people and these needs that the people are, are uh, the solutions that you're offering to the people, they're able now to, you know, to pay you for the services. They admire, they appreciate the services that you offer to them. All right. So yeah. what is your value proposition in, in the market space? 
So for us, it's about real time and personalized data for the individual. It's also about uh, the journey. Mm -hmm. It's about the self-paced journey. It's not about just work, but it's about connecting your dots in, in partnership with uh, Everizone, who are our greatest supporters, our technology providers. We help the individual to become the best of themselves by helping them connect the dots of living, learning, and working. All right. From this particular space whereby self-development is highly encouraged, uh, what was your take or what would be your uh, best advice for guys who want to shift from employment, the transition from employment to uh, mm -hmm. business? Yeah, so um, number one uh, is not to be in a hurry to sit back and uh, set up, not be in a hurry to you know, register a business without first understanding why. The why part is very important mm -hmm. for you and also for the person that you'd like to serve. For example, what are those needs that I as a consumer incur on every day or if it's a luxurious product, how am I able to pay for that? Yeah, it can I manage to, you know, looking at also the processes mm -hmm. of cash flow and all that. The production process is very important mm -hmm. before anything, before setting up a business, think about that. So do a lot of research around your business idea and then you can be able to take time to prepare for that and then eventually you would be able to register and, you know, uh, face Kinakere. <laughs> All right, yes. so what would be your, uh, I'd like to find out about the basic skills, uh, just for the, uh, for, for our viewers who are back at home, basic skills when it comes to working online and mm -hmm. also for guys who are working back at home. Okay, so basic skills are, uh, normally it's, it's all about, uh, it's about communication, uh, which does not necessarily need to be oral. It can also be written. Yes, but you. at this age, with the social media taking charge of a lot of things, you need that communication skill as basic, so that you you learn how to interact not only with your customers, but also with the people that work at, around you. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the people you live with, or you work with, or you learn with every day in class. Uh, number two is about. Uh, Organizational skills, also important. If you're not good as, at organizing yourself, then you'll be able to learn how to uh, fill that gap, either by working with someone who's highly organized okay. or working around that particular weakness. Mm -hmm. And this is something that also the portal can help you with. And um, number three is about your social, your sociability. Uh, be your ability to interact with others, which ties hand in hand with influential talents. But mm -hmm. before you inf you're an influencer, you need to learn to be social within yourself and also with others. And also emotional talents, quite important. Mm -hmm. Emotional uh, skills uh, work with uh, we, this. We're talking about stress management, things to do with self-esteem. Uh, how well do you believe in yourself? How well are you able to cope with everyday pressure? Does that fall under self-knowledge and emotional intelligence? Yes, that's it, yes. Mm -hmm. The emotional skills, the emotional drives, all that is emotional intelligence. All right, mm -hmm. and all that is, we can find it uh, we, at the portal. We have everything all together for the for for the person for the whole being of the person. All right. So Grace, you also an advisor at the mm -hmm. Youth in Business Africa, and I would like to find out uh, what what are your thoughts on when it comes to the issue of an unemployment. What are a couple of measures that we can take as a country to just curb the issue of an unemployment? Yes, I do agree that the issue of unemployment is quite uh, a challenge, especially with a developing country like Kenya. But it's quite uh, also, it's, it's easy to curb that. It, it, it is easy and it comes from the mentality of, this, uh, of the individual and then the support that the individual receives from either the family or the community around them and then also the ecosystem. So the ecosystem, we're talking about governance, you know, the county government in our case mm -hmm. and the national government. Mm -hmm. What is that enabling environment that they, they are providing for the individual who wants to, you know, start something and then create jobs for others. So a quick example, if you're starting out a business, lay, say a beauty salon, and uh, you would like this, you'd like some financial support, 
again is about who is that person that will get you the financial support. So I also encourage the person, the individual, to, st to save. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to save enough for starting businesses. And also number two uh, is about now reaching out to the customers, ensuring that you provide the right services to these customers. Now that ties back to the individual and mm -hmm. the, the ability of the individual, the capability, the competency of the individual as an entrepreneur to be mm -hmm. able to attract customers and also maintain the customers. Absolutely. Very, very true. So what a yeah. couple, you guys started from way back in 2017? Yes, so 2017 yes. was the concept. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when did you guys start running off track? Operational-wise, 2019. 2019. So yes. what are a couple of setbacks that you guys have faced during that particular time frame? Okay, basically uh, for us is about the setback actually was in the production process itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ensuring that the portal is well built because the kind of people we are also targeting the education ministry with mm -hmm. the schools and all that they need something that is thorough and scientifically proven so that so that for us the, yes it, it took a lot of time mm -hmm. on our end the r d process as mm -hmm. well and uh with covid 19 last year and the ministry of education declaring mm -hmm. the financially a zero again mm -hmm. that was a setback for us because then it limited us from going through our normal b2b to c process that's business to business to consumer with schools and uh, we, we were set back by you know trying to redefine our business model mm -hmm. on how we can go right from the business to the consumer direct all right so yes. what is the vision looking like when it comes to able pursuit so right now we are looking at a hundred thousand participants mm -hmm. Mm -hmm between now and 2022 and then we will be able to expand and scale from kenya going outside the borders uh, within east africa region all right so yes. give us the social media handle so that people back at home can follow up uh, on this particular conversation if they want to be part of the able pursuit and how they can find you okay so our social media is at able pursuit that's a b l e p u r s u i t Mm -hmm. at able pursuit on instagram and twitter and also our whatsapp number is actually on the website ablepursuit.com all right thank you very much grace for yes. creating time to be with us so uh, i'm looking forward to this conversation another day another time Thank you so much, Michelle. You're much, very much, very much welcome. So that is Grace, founder of uh, uh, Able Pursuit. So we were talking about designing professional development for youth. So make sure you stay tuned. We have so much coming your way right here on Y in the morning at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. We'll be right back. So make sure you don't touch that dial.